Hello everyone and welcome to an yet another recording on work energy theorem, okay? Uh, we do have an example that we have to go through, okay? But before we go to the example, there's one thing I'd like to touch on. And uh, that is a little note. And that whenever positive net work is done on an object, the energy of the object will increase. And whenever negative work is done on an object, or negative overall work is done on an object, the energy will decrease. All right, now we're talking a lot about energy because work is measured in joules, just like energy. And uh, if you look at any of your nutritional information on a chocolate bar or uh, any of the food that you eat, you know, you would look at the energy, and the energy we measure at either joules or kilojoules, kilojoules being 1,000 joules. And um, the energy gained or lost is generally kinetic energy. And we use kinetic energy in the work energy theorem equation. But before we get to work energy theorem, uh, there I would like to go through yet another example. Okay, also another exa example of an inclined plane, an object going up an inclined plane. This example, there is an object going down an inclined plane. So uh, let's read it together, everyone. Right, so a truck of a mass 2,000 kilograms free wheels down a 30 meter long inclined plane. The plane is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal, and the truck experiences a constant frictional force of 5,500 newtons. If we were in America, that would be 5,500 newtons, but we're not. We're in South Africa, so that's 5,500 newtons as it free wheels down the inclined plane. Right, so I think this example is an example that y'all can do on your own. All right, for a little bit, and then come back and watch the solutions. Okay, so example, this is our second example, so I'm going to label it as example two. All right, draw a nice little neat line underneath that. And then uh, over here, I'm going to start the example for you. So I'm just going to draw a little line down here. Okay, I'm going to start the e example for you. They gave us the mass of the truck, which was 2,000 kilograms. Okay, uh, they gave us the displacement, which was uh, delta x, which was 30 meters. Uh, they also gave us, what else did they give us here in the equation, They ga in the question? They gave us theta. Oh, hello. thank you very much. They gave us uh, theta. Okay, theta was 30 degrees. All right, and then the truck experiences a constant frictional force of 5,500 or 5,500 newtons, okay? So it's freewheeling down, so there's no real force applied. Okay, so we only have frictional force here. 5,500 newtons. Okay, all right, so Let's uh, see what you can do, okay? And the overall question that they are asking us to calculate is, um, okay, they're asking us definitely to calculate the work done on the object, okay? It doesn't say here what they want us to calculate in this question, unfortunately. Okay, it doesn't actually say that, unfortunately. All right, if you read the question again, it just says uh, the truck experiences that uh, the constant frictional force, 5,500 newtons as a free wheels down the inclined plane. Okay, but the question in the previous question example was calculate the network done on the car. In this case, we want you to calculate the network done on the truck. Okay, so the network. Okay, so uh, we need to calculate the network. Okay, W net, that is what is being asked of us. All right, go ahead and uh, attempt the example two and come back and have a look at the solutions. Right, so let's have a look at the solutions. I hope that question went well for you. All right, so um, first of all, uh, I'm also using the method two of calculating first the net force. So the only two forces present here are the force of friction that they mentioned and of course the gravitational parallel component, the force of gravity, FG parallel. All right, because there's no force done by FG because it's perpendicular, and there's no force done by the normal force because it's also perpendicular. So therefore, we need to calculate uh, the FG parallel component because the object is free falling down a plane. Okay, so how we how do we calculate the FG parallel component? 
Okay, I'm just going to draw a little arrow here. All right, so I draw a little rough diagram. Okay, this is my truck over here. Then there's my uh, FG. Okay, this is FG over here. Then over here is my FG perpendicular. And here, this part here is my FG parallel component. It's parallel to the slope. All right, uh, theta over here, where it had to be, corresponds to this theta over there. So therefore, this... Um, how we work out FG parallel is MG sine of theta. All right, now they gave us theta over here, so we know that the mass was 2,000 times 9,8, which is gravity, All right, times sine 30. All right, now if we do that on our calculator, oh, the answer is 9,800 Newtons, which seems about correct since our force of friction is quite large. All right, so um, therefore, force of friction is going in the opposite direction. We know that the truck is going down, and we know friction is going up. So therefore, I'm going to take friction is negative, so negative 5,500 plus because it's parallel to the uh, motion of the truck, all right, this force is parallel to the motion of the truck because it's free falling, plus 9,800. All right, ah, we get a net force, therefore, F net to be equal to 4,300 newtons. All right, now we can sub this baby into our uh, work net formula, W net formula, or the network done, all right, equals F net delta x cos theta. All right, so therefore the net force was 4,300 newtons, okay, multiplied by 30, multiplied by cause because the, the the force that was mentioned is the force of friction all right that is slowing down the uh, slowing down the slowing down the uh, truck all right slowing down the truck okay all right uh, cause because theta or the F net is in the same direction as the motion of the truck because it's positive. Okay, uh, its uh, angle is therefore zero, so cos zero. All right, and it's cos zero because F net is in the same direction as the motion of the truck, and F net is therefore going down with the truck. And we know that friction was negative, but our net force is positive. If we had to get a negative net force, so in other words, the net force would be going upwards, then theta would be 180. But because it, uh, th because the force is going in the same direction and motion, and which is going downwards, the truck is going down, the net force, therefore, uh, yields an angle of 0 degrees. All right, now if we punch that in on our calculator, it gives us a a total work or an overall work done of 129,000 joules. Therefore, all right, that looks about right. All right, my goodness, work done by the force of friction. All right, and the work done by the a parallel component of on an inclined plane. All right, the net force done by both of those heals a network of 129,000 joules. Okay, that's the work done acting on the truck, which is free falling or free rolling down a inclined heel.